Good morning everyone, welcome to Yorkshire TV and uh, a TV special today. One of the regular features on Yorkshire Gamer blog over the years has been the Troops on Parade feature where I look back on some of my collections, some of the big armies that I've got lying around in boxes in the house, um, blow the dust off them uh, and get them on the table. Um, this lot featured um, not that long ago, we did um, a refight of the Battle of Edge Hill last year, probably around this time. Um, and the collection normally gets out on the table um, once every couple of years, maybe. Um, Army's around 10 years old now, um, maybe slightly longer. Um, if you look at the, the basin on here, it's in the traditional Yorkshire Gamer style with the uh, plaster and base text but this is pre uh, grass tufts um, so that's showing its age a little bit so I just thought I'd get them out on the table uh, A because it really looks good and uh, B because it just reminds me of how many figures I've got and um, so I'm going to go through um, just show you the army have a look at some of the figures some of the units in detail and just have a chat about everything in general um, all the figures are 28 mil and uh, We'll see you soon and have a look at some of the figures. So the army itself is representative of uh, the Royalist Army during the period. Um, no specific um, time period. Um, there's units from various areas, um, some from Cheshire, uh, some from the, the units that fought around there, some from the Oxford Army. Um, just generally picked some uh, units that I particularly liked in terms of flags or um, representative of the area that I uh, came from originally before I ended up in Yorkshire. Um, so the the figures I say are all 28 mil and I'm looking at the uh, Rupert's cavalry um, on that wing. Um, the figures in front that you can see are um, Command figures from, I believe, Bicorn. Um, it's such a long time since I painted all these up. I, I do apologise. Um, but uh, you can see the, the, the larger base there with Prince Rupert, um, his dog boy, um, and his uh, personal standard. Uh, those of you uh, who know something about the period will uh, know that boy was a different colour to that. However, there is a very famous um, etching from the period where the parliamentarians were trying to make out that boy was some sort of demonically possessed uh, hound uh, and they portrayed him in black. Um, so that's just my little um, homage to that uh, uh, cartoon that came out a long time ago um the the wing this wing of cavalry is made up entirely of um perry's um 28 mil metal um cavalry and i'll just move the camera around to get a better view of one of the units If we look down there, we can see um, in front we've got uh, Rupert's own regiment of cavalry, uh, 12 figures, and then um, a unit of nine, a unit and a unit of six in line, same again behind that, another unit of 12 and a unit of six behind, and that forms um, the right wing or Rupert's wing of the, the cavalry in, in most of my battles. Um, so we'll move on and have a look at the other wing of cavalry. Over the other side of the army, um, these figures are metal again. These were before the days of plastic kits when this army were put together. And these are, again, I think uh, they're from Bicorn. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're from Bicorn um, with one um, unit of Renegade. Um, when I was putting these together, Renegade figures did um, some pretty good deals in terms of cash um, for figures. I think it ruined them financially in the end, but um, when we come to look at the infantry, um, a lot of those are 
renegade um, and it made it um, financially viable to put this army together at the time um, in the front row um, we've got uh, King's Lifeguard Cavalry 15 figures um, and then behind we've got um, four units of, uh, of 12 figures and a couple of units of six um, so just zoom out there so you can see that a little bit better um, and uh, that uh, forms the left wing of my cavalry during uh, most of the games um, in front we've got some uh, generals here we'll just zoom into those again these are from uh, bicorn miniatures and uh, they do a, a really nice set of individual named characters um, for the English Civil War which is uh, particularly nice. Uh, the large base there, Jacob Astley, is the uh, foot commander for this army. Um, he's just ended up over here so the king can take his rightful place in the centre. Um, the figure on the left um, is Perry's. So this figure here um, representing William of Vavasur. Um, and just um, so you can see the difference between the two figures, um, let's put them there, there is a considerable size difference um, and this is why I've kept the two wings of cavalry uh, completely separate. Um, on a large table we normally play on 12 by 6 you really can't tell the difference but side by side like that um, the Perry's miniatures, um, they always sculpt sort of true 28 rather than heroic 28 um, and their figures look a bit smaller compared to the larger the Bicorn which are more of a heroic scale if you like. Um, so that's why the two, are, the, the two uh, manufacturers shall never meet, um, they're on the opposite end of the table. Um, so let's go and have a look at uh, some of the infantry units. First up, just going, around, going down the line, I've randomly put these out, there's no specific order to them. Um, and as, we, as I mentioned at the start, th this is not a specific army. Um, so there's units from various parts of the English Civil War dotted throughout it. And this is Talbot's regiment, um, famous for yellow coat. Um, the figures here are um, Renegade and um, they have uh, Steel Pike um, from normally by mine from North Star. Um, the amount of blood that has been drawn um, from players whilst playing this army is, is dramatic. <laughs> Not quite as much as the English Civil War but we've all uh, ended up cutting our fingers on these figures. Um, and those of you who know my stuff, um, the Italian Wars Army, um, I've started to extend the bases at the front of those with lowered pike uh, just to protect figures. Um, these are before those days. Uh, so that's Talbot's Regiment. And uh, I'll use Shaky Cam and move along and uh, look at the next regiment. And I think any, everyone. Uh, with every any knowledge of the English Civil War, will recognise uh, the King's Lifeguard. Um, some wonderful flags there, I think. Uh, again, should research before I do these, shouldn't I? Um, GMB flags, possibly. Um, it's one of those uh, units that everyone will have, and everyone will buy um, loads and loads of flags and stick all over it because it does look uh, particularly nice. Uh, Renegade figures again, and uh, particularly nice. Uh, my favourite uh, unit in the army, I would suggest. And uh, I shall just move the camera and we'll have a look at a couple of other units on the other side of the army. Next to the King's Personal Regiment is Rupert's um, Blue Coat and um, a fairly unique um, flags for, for Rupert's Regiment. Um, no lower pike on those. Um, there is one that's pointing forward, but that's fallen off. Uh, glue that back on later on. Um, so, um, 
rules wise um, we use forlorn hope um, but it's a version that we've um, as a group modified and sort of brought into the 21st century um, with um, different dice roll and um, it, it just moves a lot quicker than the original set of rules did um, and we're all happy with them and we've all played massive games uh, with thousands of figures on the table um, with no problems whatsoever so we're happy with them we stick with them um, as a rule here generally at Yorkshire Gamer we don't flit around from rule sets we find a rule set and we stick with it um, and it's just a lot easier and that way people get to know the rules um, so I'm going to lift the camera up and um, just go down the remaining lines of um, troops uh, quickly Boop. so we've got um, Apsley's regiment of foot there um, with the black and white flags uh, red coats uh, behind we have the Duke of York's regiment uh, 20 figures most figures most units are 20 24 figures um, some such as this one here which I can't remember the name of it is Taylor's regiment R16 just to represent some of the smaller um, royalist regiments uh, later on in the in the period uh, next to them with the red flag is the Queen's lifeguard and then we have with the blue and uh, red flag Gerards and if I remember correctly these are Owens Owens regiment one of the um, regiments that fought in Cheshire um, alongside the one with the green flag Tilliers um, and then we have um, a yellow flagged regiment there which is Bileys and then I'll switch the camera off and move around to the back for the last couple of units. And just over the back there is a 20 figure regiment with the black flag, which is um, Earl Rivers. And then behind it, um, my own version of the Chester Militia um, with their forward for King and Cheshire flag. All made up of course um, and um, we've got Lyles and Denham's regiments at the back there so before we finish off just have a look down the front row here there are some individual figures um, that are used for forlorn hopes and skirmishes and engineers and, and various tasks um, throughout the army just to give us some variations of scenarios I've got rather a lot of artillery. I don't know, they, they must have had a deal on Old Glory or something because I've got no idea where I bought this many. Um, so we've got um, four um, light guns there, each with three crew. Um, they're Old Glory figures. And if we move along the line, we've got a couple of um, mortars there. Um, again, with They've got two figures, and uh, if you just look behind um, the Royal Standard there, you can see uh, a couple of lads um, running along. I forgot the name, Petard, I think it is, um, with the mobile bomb. They used to run up, drop it at a gate, and then run off with the uh, fuse lit. Um, I guess it wasn't a very survivable occupation, that one. Um, so um, I'll just go around the other side and have a look at the rest of the artillery. So we've got four medium guns there, um, two are Old Glory, um, the two nearest uh, to the command unit over here, and uh, then we've got two more um, Perry's guns um, at this end, and then just to end up this massive artillery train, uh, um, it usually gives the artillery for both sides in our games is that much of it um, we've got a couple of heavy guns here um, and again these are warlord that just brings us to the final row of um, 
command figures. Um, we've got uh, these that we were talking about. This is Marmaduke Langsdale. And uh, they're rather nice, I have to say. Um, it's a long time since I painted these, uh, 10 years or so, probably more. Um, but they're nice, they've got plenty of character, quite large compared to the Fury, uh, Perry's figures, as we said before. Um, but certainly I like to have lots of individual commanders uh, and these uh, came out really, really well. Um, again, the um, Perry's miniatures. This is one of their um, English Civil War commanders. Um, and uh, he's the very royalist name, Con Converse Darcy. Uh, I'm sure I went to school with him. Um, the, uh, they're really nice as well. Just that slight difference in uh, in scale between the two. And then we look at um, the main man himself. We've got um, the king um, with... Let me zoom in on the, on the map. A little bit of... Um, we can see a map laid out. Um, all done freehand by myself. Got no idea whether it represents a battle of any particular nature at all. Um, it just, I probably just drew it freehand to see what went well. Um, so uh, that's the king and his entourage, and then next to him is uh, Sir Edmund Verney, uh, a hero of course, or us English uh, Civil War Royalist fans um, and standard bearer to the King at the Battle of Edge Hill and legend has it that um, he held on to the uh, standard um, and uh, had his hand cut off and his hand was still stuck to the flagpole. Um, we do like a bit of... You um, um, could always trust the press to make a story up and uh, I'm sure they did in those days as well. Just like uh, Rupert's black witchcraft dog that we spoke about earlier on, um, nothing like a bit of propaganda to um, lighten up your day. So there we go, there's the army in its entirety. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that little run through uh, one of uh, my larger collections. Uh, of stuff any questions obviously bob them on the uh, on the feed at the bottom or on the blog post uh, and i'll happily answer them as best that i can um thank you very much for watching um there'll be a, a yorkshire tv monthly update coming online fairly soon uh, i've got a couple of other bits and pieces going up so just keep your eye peeled thanks again and see you soon